Hello everyone. Today we are going to see reproduction in human beings. You have already studied in 8th standard that some common changes occur both in boys and girls in early teenage. Some of these changes are unique to boys and girls. During this stage, the reproductive tissues begin to mature and we call this period as puberty. During this stage, the reproductive organs start producing the germ cells. For sexual mode of reproduction to take place, germ cells from both female and male should be released and fused. For fusion to occur, both individuals should participate in mating and transfer of germ cells should occur from one body to the other. The changes that occur during sexual maturation helps in this reproduction process. This is the male reproductive system. We have already studied the different parts of the male reproductive system. Let us refresh our memory once again. The male gonads or the testis starts producing the germ cells or sperms. The testis are located outside the abdominal cavity in a scrotum because sperm formation requires a lower temperature than the normal body temperature. The testis also helps in the secretion of the male sex hormone known as the testosterone which regulates the formation of sperms and it also brings about changes in appearance seen in boys at the time of puberty. The sperms formed by the testis are delivered through the vas deferens which unites with a tube coming from the urinary bladder. Along the path of the vas deferens, glands like the prostate and the seminal vesicles add their secretions so that the sperms are in a fluid which makes their transport easier and this fluid also provides nutrition to the sperm. This is the female reproductive system. The female gonads or the ovaries produces female germ cells or eggs and also helps in the production of female sex hormones. The oviduct, also known as the fallopian tube, carries the eggs from the ovary to the womb. The uterus opens through the cervix into the vagina. When a girl is born, the ovaries already contain thousands of immature eggs, which on reaching puberty start maturing. One egg is produced every month by one of the ovaries. The egg is carried from the ovary to the womb through a thin oviduct or fallopian tube. This is the place where the fusion of the egg cell and sperm take place. The sperm reaches the egg cell and fertilizes it. Ovaries secrete hormones which makes the uterus ready for implantation to receive the growing embryo. The uterus lining thickens and is richly supplied with blood to nourish the growing embryo. The embryo gets implanted to the lining of the uterus and starts dividing. Placenta is a special tissue which helps the embryo to get nutrition from the mother's blood. Placenta has villi which provide large surface area for glucose and oxygen to pass from the mother to the embryo. It also helps in the removal of waste substance. The development of the child inside the mother's body takes approximately 9 months. This period is known as the gestation period. The child is born as a result of rhythmic contractions of the muscles in the uterus. This process is known as parturition. Let us see what happens when the egg is not fertilized. As we already said, the uterus prepares itself every month to receive a fertilized egg. If the egg is not fertilized, the thickened lining slowly breaks and comes out through the vagina as blood and mucus. The cycle takes place roughly every month and is known as menstruation.